Now, your first workshop for technologies education, you're going to be doing an activity with some what we call Bbot robots, which are small programmable robots that we can program in a series of instructions and then it will perform those instructions. Now, it's not about learning about how to use a robot. That is not the intent of the activity and of technologies education. There are certain concepts that are described in the curriculum documents that you need to teach your students through the mechanism of an activity, in this case, B-Bots, but the B-Bots are not what you're teaching them. You're teaching them about concepts such as um, sequence and of an algorithm, where an algorithm describes a sequence of activities that are performed. Or you might be looking at how um, the wheels on the B-Bots can make the robot move forward or backwards or turn, depending upon which wheel is activated or whether or not one wheel is uh, moving forward and one wheel moving backwards. So they're the concepts that they're learning through the activity, but the concepts are what they're learning about. Now we find these concepts in the content descriptors. The elaborations provide us examples and activities that we can use to teach the concepts, the content descriptors. So in this case, the elaboration is using the B-Bots. The content descriptors, though, are what students learn. Now, of course, we want to go beyond just learning the content descriptors, though. There are the thinking skills. There are the cross-curriculum priorities. There are the general capabilities. There's a whole range of other learnings that can be built on to make it a better lesson than just learning the content descriptors. But you start with the content descriptors. And we'll be exploring about those different concepts as we go through the weeks. So with your tutor, you'll go looking at the curriculum documents and how to relate them to the activity. Have some fun with doing the activities and then provide some evidence of you having done the activity. Now, I've provided you with some video clips to show you some details about how to use the B-Bots and some of the ways we can learn about them. There'll be a series of mats that will provide different curriculum contexts different ways of thinking about problem solving, where students might have to move the robot around a town or along a number line or in various other ways to solve problems. And think about how you can then engage your students with using this particular activity to better learn the concepts encompassed in the content descriptors and other aspects of the curriculum. So you'll provide some evidence of you having done that through um, taking a photograph or video clip of your robot. So bring along a, um, your mobile phone or something to take a recording. And then the final activity for your log of learning is a reflection on what you've learned during the workshop and during the content, engaging with the content during the week. So write a paragraph about what you've learned and have fun in your first workshop.